Hi y'all, Renee here. Today I have the Craft with Heart subscription service cut above layout kit for November. This one is really cute. I can't wait to put it together. It makes two two-page layouts, so four pages total. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'll throw some music on and I'll be back at the end to show you the finished product. If you're interested in the Craft with Heart subscription service, just check out my link down below to my store and you can see all the different options. I hope you enjoy.
turned out so great and I already have pictures in mind for this this layout I'm always excited when I know right away what pictures I'm gonna use but this one turned out really nice I did um, decide to use some um, adhesive I'm sorry some dimensional adhesive so what this is is this is just the back piece of our um, what are they called the shaker carts so that's just the leftover so leftovers but I think this turned out really, really cute. I love the way that it's, oh, I love the colors and I just love the way that they have the pumpkins mimicking on each side and the little word stickers. Those, I love those kind of things. So that one turned out really nice. And then this one is also really, really, really pretty. Um, now, one thing I will tell you, do not follow the measurements for this plaid piece. Just line it up with this and then just keep it straight and it'll everything will be where it's supposed to be. But don't use the measurements because measurements are off. But this turned out really cute. I did use the wrong. Just make sure if you know if that if that matters to you, you make sure you're using the right one of these. I used the wrong one. This one's supposed to be over here and this one's supposed to be over here, but I don't think it really matters. Now this one I decided to do everything flat because I don't want to get to the point that I did last year where I was using so much dimensional adhesive that my photo albums are like way fat and I can't fit as many pages. Um, but I think these turned out really great. So I would be curious to know which one was your favorite. I think um, this first one because I have pictures for it already that I know I'm going to put on, I think it kind of became my favorite, but this one with this one, the colors are just so beautiful. So I'm really torn as to which one I like the best. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was really quick and fast to put this together. Um, so if you're looking for something that, um, is pretty much done for you and all you got to do is have a little bit of adhesive and you don't even need to have the adhesives that I have. You can use any kind of adhesive. I would use acid-free adhesive. That way it doesn't eat through your pictures later on down the road. And other than that, you don't really need anything. I did use my scissors to trim off those little nubbies, but that wasn't even really necessary because there really wasn't much there. And you will see that I use these reverse tweezers um, just to help so I could see where I'm placing things. And then a little bit of powder. You can even use just plain old baby powder if you want to have your stickers overlapping some things and you don't want them to stick down on them. And then my last thing that I used was my good old tea ruler. Um, there will be links for all of these items that I use the most down below. If you have any questions, please leave those for me down below as well. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by.